Hey everybody, it's Scott. I wanted to share with you a really cool feature of the new Camtasia 1.2. And let me go ahead and show it to you because I think once you see it, you're going to realize just how cool of a feature it is. So here it is on our screen. Now, what I've done is I've created a web page and this is in WordPress and all it is is a simple web page that has uh, a Camtasia video embedded in it. Now, if you use Camtasia for Mac, you're probably familiar with this. Let me go ahead and click on it. And you'll see that when it starts to play, I get this really cool table of contents right over here on the left. And what this allows me to do is I can jump to various parts of my video. And, and so this table of contents is a great way for your users to navigate your document, uh, to navigate your video. Now, let me show you just how easy it is to create this in Camtasia Mac. Okay, so the way that we create our table of contents is with markers, and it really is easy. Let's take a look at Camtasia for the Mac right now. When I look in here, you can see my workspace. Now, I've made my video really small because that's not the primary focus. It's these markers right here that, that really add the value to it, and it's very easy to create a marker. So just figure out where you want your marker to go, and, and you may want to listen to your video. And here we go, so we can scroll down. Okay, I'm going to put a marker right there. And the way that we do that is we come up, we choose Edit, Add Marker, or simply Option M and we get a new marker on our screen. Now here we can name it anything we want. And I could name it business in this case. So that's all there is to really creating a table of contents in Camtasia Mac. Now when we come back to our video, all of our markers would be right here and it makes it super easy to navigate this. Now there are a couple of other things that I like about it. When I come up and I push my pin button, it keeps the cable, the cable, the table of contents there. I like to take a look at sports. Let's see what's happening with our favorite. If I take the pin off, now we've gotten the cable of contents hides itself automatically. Now, so if I wanted to go into football, when I mouse back over it, I get my table of contents. So this is great. Now, the other feature that's so nice here is that it has the built-in search. So if you're creating a longer tutorial, perhaps a, uh, an e-learning course like I do a lot of, having the search here makes it real easy for your users to find a specific topic. So if we were to say football, it takes us to the results found for football, and now we can navigate right to that. So again, a huge time saver. But let me ask you, so when would you use something like this? Well, you could use this if you're creating tutorials that are any type of length. Now, I'm going to say if you've got a quick two-minute tutorial, I wouldn't use it for that. But if you're creating a longer tutorial, you know, five, seven, ten minutes long, and you've got multiple subjects that you're covering, having chapter markers and a table of contents is a great solution. If you're creating e-learning, e-learning really does lend itself. I, I work on projects that are typically 45 minutes to an hour long. Having some way to navigate uh, an e-learning course like that is critical for the users. So the, the new table of contents really comes into play for that. You know, another thing is, is that if you're conducting an interview, perhaps you're doing an interview on Skype or Google Talk, and you've got a series of questions. Well, each one of those questions could easily be a table of contents marker, and your users could then navigate and hear the answers of the person you're interviewing just by clicking on the question that you're asking. So you've got all sorts of different ways you can utilize this. 
Now, I do have to tell you, there is one caveat here, and this is all based upon Flash. So uh, a lot of us on the Mac side, well, we're not real big on Flash because we've got iPhones and iPads and, and Macs, and we all know how Steve Jobs feels about Flash. So just be aware that if you're going to use your uh, table of contents and chapter markers in Camtasia Mac, that your output has to be for Flash. So be aware of that. It, you won't get the chapter markers and the nice table of contents on your iPad. So anyway, those are uh, that's the new uh, tip in Camtasia Mac. I really love this feature. It is a great feature for you know when you want to put together Flash-based solutions that are uh, long and you need some type of way to navigate it. So uh, hats off to TechSmith for that. Anyway, I'm Scott, and I hope to see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.